As a shaman, do you want to dual wield and use Lava Lash in Season of Discovery? Then you're going to have to do this quest line in Thunder Bluff. On the main bluff of Thunder Bluff, there is a bag vendor. And slightly behind the bag vendor, there is a stealth Torin that is a rogue trainer. Now, Torin can't be rogues. So what's this all about? Well, he's trying to find recruits that are going to have roguelike capabilities within them. And he sees potential in you. So he gives you a quest to go to the southeast into the venture company mine and to steal their belongings. He believes your stealth skills are going to be enough to be able to sneak in undetected and be able to grab what you need without any problems. He gives you a flimsy mask and sends you on your way. This does not work. You, The mask doesn't do anything for you and you have to fight your way through the entire mine blowing up all of these uh, powder kegs to be able to get the explosives that you need. Now while you're in here, if you're a Tauren, this is also where you're going to get your Ancestral Guidance rune. Further into the mine, on the very top level, there will be the Dead Adventurer on the outside. So you got to go all the way out the mine and out the back, and you will find the Adventurer's Remains to be able to get that rune. But that's not the rune we're talking about here. Once you get your five crates exploded and get the uh, charges, head back to Thunderbluff and talk to that rogue vendor again. He says... Clearly, your stealth skills aren't where it's at. You must be a poison maker. And he sends you on a quest to go make a unique poison, sending you to the northwest and to kill some harpies. He says straight to the north of Thunderbluff, but it is to the northwest. Find this area of dead trees just northwest of Thunderbluff, and there's going to be harpies all over the place. In the ground, there's going to be little acorns. They're pretty hard to see. Or little pine cones, I guess. Acorns. Uh, these little pine cones on the ground are pretty hard to see, and you need to pick up eight of them and then combine it with the bowl that you got to create some pine nut butter, which you're going to report back to him with, and is clearly not a poison, so he's disappointed once more. He can think of one more thing to do, and he gives you a quest to fillet a fish. So you're going to have to go and learn fishing, and then you're going to have to fish out of the pool in the middle of Mulgore. So head up to the third bluff of Thunder Bluff, find the fishing vendor, trainer and vendor, get yourself fishing and a fishing rod, as well as I recommend a bobble so that you have a little bit easier time catching your first fish. Then head your way back to the main bluff and fish out of that central pool until you get the small brilliant fish. At that point, you can use the filleting knives to fillet it up to get your fish chunks final quest item. With that, you can head back to the rogue trainer and he will train you in dual wielding as well as give you the lava lash rune. So that's how you get your ability to be an effective DPS enhancement shaman in Season of Discovery. I hope this guide helped you out. I'm Zesty Fresh from Zaza Games and we'll catch you guys next time.